guys, welcome back to All That Glitters. Today I'm going to be styling this brand new um, fairy tale wigs, Aurora, for you guys to see. Um, if you don't have this space, I still think this tutorial will be helpful, but if you are purchasing fairy tale wig spaces, which I highly recommend um, as they come pre cut, curled, and are perfect, then this will show you exactly what to do from start to finish. So I'm going to show you how to make this into this. So these come pre-packaged, they're actually pre-curled, pre-cut, and then they have this nice netting over them. You're gonna to wanna to set the netting aside because you're gonna use this for storage of your wig later. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get her onto my wig block. I have two different wig blocks. I always use the biggest size because I have a lot of different um, performers who all have different size heads and I feel like it's better to go bigger than too small because no one likes a wig headache. And you're gonna to wanna to come in and adjust the placement on the head. You wanna look underneath and make sure that this seam right here is lined up with your middle, um, middle line guide on your wig head. All right, so I'm gonna take a T, whoop, a T pin, and I'm gonna put it right here in the top part of the skin cap just to kinda of uh, keep her in place. Now with some wigs you pin down here, since this is a down style, I don't really feel like I need to. Um, so as you can see, we have um, the bang pieces are already pre-cut and curled. So thankfully, while I'm working on this style today, I actually am not gonna have to do any curling or cutting, but I wanted to show you kind of what they look like in case you're purchasing a wig and you have to cut your own bangs. So you've got the top here, and the bangs consist of about, oh, like a maybe three quarters of an inch here on this side. And then there's a teeny tiny bit of bang right here. And this tiny little bit of hair doesn't look like much, but it's gonna turn into a beautiful side piece on that with some teasing and fluffing. So if you are um, you know, doing your own cutting, definitely cut about here. You can see that when pulled straight, the bangs come down about this far, and then you would wanna curl them. So they are pre-cut and curled though for what we're working on today. All right, before I get started, I wanted to show you what supplies you're going to need today. And then if you're wondering where to purchase this supplies, I will link the base in the video. But then all the other supplies, if you go to my channel and look at my wig supply video, I list all of the supplies and the links for where to get it. And I tried to find stuff for cheap on Amazon for you guys. So today the supplies that you're gonna need is some sort of a brush that you like to tease with. Some people like to use their rat tail combs to tease with, which you do need one of these today too. Right now my teasing tool of choice is this brush and I'll explain it when we start doing the teasing. Uh, you'll want a rat tail comb. You specifically want it to have this pointy piece on the end because we're gonna use this to get through any weird knots. Um, I love, I use this every single time I style wig. It's this Babeless Pro. Um, I think it's like a scalp massaging brush. Um, it's great for kind of getting through these, um, these wigs and getting them kind of fluffy. And then you'll want a baby brush for helping you smooth down any flyaways. This is when we are finishing our style. And for my hairspray today, I'm going to be using the Got To Be Glued, um, blasting free spray and I want to reiterate while I'm at the beginning that you don't want to use a ton of hairspray especially till the end. Try not to spray into your wig until you're ready to 100% be done and set the style. Otherwise if you comb through while it's wet you get separating and that makes me crazy. So let's get started. Okay so first things first you guys I'm gonna pull it down you don't need to see my face. I'm gonna take my Babeless Pro brush and I'm gonna just brush through all these curls and get the hair exactly kind of where I want it before I start on the bangs part of the style. Brushing through and softening up all these curls. When later we're gonna come back through and recurl them with our fingers. But what we're really after is working on this top piece and getting the hair kind of all going in the direction that we want, which is back away from the scalp, okay? So I'm just taking my comb, kind of pulling the hair in the right direction, Again, we don't really want to put much in the way of hairspray into this until we are all done. And I'm going to tell you right now not to spray hairspray down here into the curls. They'll be much nicer and it'll be a lot longer before you need to wash them if you don't fill the wig up with a bunch of sticky product that can attract dirt and makeup and oil and all of that stuff. So um, once you have the top all combed back, then we can get started on the bangs. Honestly, this is like a 15 minute style. I may not even bother like 
cutting this video very much. All right, so our next step is to go ahead and take our teasing brush and we're gonna get to work on these bangs. Hopefully my arm won't be blocking the whole video. Um, so you're gonna take the bottom of your rat tail comb and you're gonna come through and I like to just separate only a little bit of hair. You don't really need a lot. Just a thin layer of hair that we're gonna kind of keep out um, so that we don't tease it with the rest of it and it stays really smooth. Now we're gonna take the rest of the bangs and we're gonna take our teasing brush and we're only gonna use basically the first two rows of bristles and we are just very gently, you're not holding the hair tight, you're just gently in a circular motion while you tease and we're gonna basically turn this into like a cotton candy um, type consistency and we might do this several times. Sorry, I lost what I was doing. So we're just kind of coming through and we're not like just digging in too much. We're just turning it into, I like to think of it, thin cotton candy. I'm not using the whole brush. I'm not digging in. I'm just circular, little tiny circular motions, okay? Well, the one thing about Aurora's bangs is they come up and over. So I'm gonna come back in here along the root of all of this. Whoops, get this pieces out. And I'm gonna just kinda do a little stacking just at the root um, to make it kinda stick up more and give it that lift. And that stacking, I'm not gonna bring it all the way up, okay? Then you're gonna grab those pieces that you left out, bring them over, whoop, smooth them, and from here, we get to start to shape. You can tell the bangs naturally on this wig are already starting to go the direction that they are curled. So I'm just coming along and like smoothing out that top layer so I don't see a bunch of the yucky stuff under there. And then this hair all pretty much naturally goes to this side. So through this part, I just continued to shape, uh, gently using that rat tail comb. You don't wanna like dig all the way down into the hair. And I just wanna reiterate that when you're working on styles like this, especially bangs, um, you do have to be patient. And sometimes you take the style down several times and kind of start over until you get it just how you want, and that's okay. And we are patient, making sure things are smooth. And this is why you don't spray a bunch of hairspray until you're sure you're about where you want it. Um, because once you got the hairspray in, it's a lot harder to change it. So there's that bang, and the eyes are gonna be right about down in here. So that's gonna come right above the eyebrow, which is like perfect. And then one thing I'm gonna do here really quick. So here's kind of that curl on the side. I'm gonna take one of these clips and I'm gonna clip it, wait, hold on. Gotta make sure I do it the right way. I'm gonna pull the hair like kind of around. Let it all just sit like that, okay? Pretty, pretty. So now we're gonna work this piece over here. This is that small piece. And again, we're just gonna take our teasing brush and we're just gonna turn it into cotton candy, okay? I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, barely using it. I'm gonna come through it a couple times. As I get into that top layer, I don't sink my comb down as much. Okay. And then I'm going to just take my rat tail comb, kind of pull through it a little and work to shape it. Okay. And we are just looking at a curl that'll kind of come right up in 
that area. So here I'm just continuing to shape that curl until it's exactly how I want it to be using the tiniest bit of hairspray. You do see my scissors come out. There was a couple spots where I got hairs that were too long and I don't want to go back and totally change the style. So I just trimmed the little tiny ends off. Okay. And then while that sets, we are going to just come back and work on our curls. Okay. And literally all you have to do with this wig is this. You just take chunks. Um, you can do as big a chunks or as small a chunks as you like. I personally prefer big, loose curls for Aurora and you literally just take it, you can use your baby brush and wrap these big chunks around your finger and then boom, big, nice curls, okay? And then things are a little bit just kind of like sticking out back here. So I am going to put just the tiniest bit of hairspray, like a missing, over the back. And then I'm going to come in with my baby brush and make sure there's no hairs in it. And I'm just going to smooth the style down, stopping at the tops of the curls. I'm not combing through the curls. I'm just smoothing this part down up here okay so pretty so shiny and I stop right at the where the curls basically start okay and then one last thing I do like the hair to just stay a certain way up here so I am gonna spray just a little bit more into the scalp not a lot smooth it down up here and then let it set okay And so now she's pretty much done. I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. So now that the bangs are pretty much the way I want them and everything's done, I did decide I wanted to put a couple of bobby pins up under the bangs to just help hold those big fluffy bangs out of the performer's eyes. So while you're doing that, you wanna carefully manipulate the hair. And as always, when you're putting bobby pins into something like that, you're gonna wanna hide them. Um, so they're not poking out anywhere. It shouldn't be too difficult with all the teasing that's in there. All right. And there you have it. That's kind of a look at what she looks like. I think that's pretty well centered. Maybe not. Give you guys kind of the 360. So pretty. Obsessed. Literally takes about 15 minutes. If I hadn't been talking to you guys, that's all the time that it would have taken for sure and pretty easy to maintain. And then there are the curls on the back. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching all the glitters. My name is Haley. If you're enjoying these videos and um, party princess tips, please uh, subscribe below, give this video a like, leave me a comment, let me know what you'd like to see. Um, right now I'm going through lots of wig videos, but I have a lot more fun things in store for you guys. Um, all kinds of business tips and makeup and acting and all kinds of things. So I'm excited to share with you, but trying to kind of get through the whole wig thing first. So yeah, be sure to hit subscribe. Thanks. Bye.